Welcome to the 2012 series of Complete Cricket Masterclasses. The focus for this year's courses is 2020 cricket. Today we're here with Warwickshire's Neil Carter for a pace bowling masterclass. Hope you enjoy the videos and get some useful information out. When 2020 started and a few years ago, if you had a slow ball, that was good. Now, having one slow ball is okay. I think uh, a lot of uh, a lot of batsmen these days, if they know your slow ball, they know what's coming, then they can, uh, they can see it. So they, a lot of guys now have more than one slow ball. I know a couple of guys have three or four slow balls, which uh, I think is key. So we're going to go through a, a few slow ball options, not just one or two. And because um, with that, I think you guys can take it away and practice. And like you've been doing, you can just stand here and we will start doing that. You can just stand there and just start practicing. So like every time you're at home, you've got a wall, you've got a ball, you can just stand and get your wrist in the positions and we can bowl all different kinds of balls. So that by the time you can practice that, by the time you can get into a net and you can hone your skills and get the ball to land in the right area. Because if you can lock up and bowl three slow balls at different times, at different in 20-20 games, then like I said, it's variation and batsmen won't know what's coming. Pretty much coming through guys like you do, with your arms straight in, but like this elbow, the inside of your elbow will be tucked, will be facing towards you. So as you come over, it's literally your hands coming up, but obviously the ball's on the outside of your fingers this time. And you're just cutting off the pace by rolling your fingers on the inside of the ball now, and not rolling the fingers on the outside. All right, everyone get what I'm saying? So instead of coming over, like I would do, and then I turn, twist my fingers away. Okay, thanks. It's coming over, and I'll turn my fingers inwards now. Okay, that's probably it's a good ball to bowl that because there's not as much wrist action into the ball, and with that, it's harder for the batters to see. So I'm coming. If I run up and bowl one here, the normal one just goes straight down there. And what I've been doing is I've been what we have been doing, getting in there and just going the fingers on that outside of the board. Now we get here, get to here again, and it's just fingers on the inside of the board. Everyone get that? A lot of you guys like I've been saying will find this a lot easier. So instead of fingers coming straight down, it's fingers coming inwards like. And with that as well, you get a bit of a turn going in, uh, into the right hand, and the left hand is in the way from the right hand from your right hand. Like I said, naturally, most of you will find this a bit easier. But I think the older that you get, um, some of you might find, I certainly find this easier now. Because obviously, I've been riding for a long time, so naturally, the ball on a better spot, I find just riding this one. And obviously, I bowl it more often than I do bowl that one. Go and practice this day in and day out. All you do is stand in front of a mirror and just watch your hands go. Your arm and hands and just watch your wrist go. For the, so for the off feet and then for the leg cutter. So it's just a question, just little tinkers at the end there. You just keep practicing that and you, in the mirror you can just watch your hands get the feel. So like I'm in the mirror, even out of ball, I just know that I want to get there and my hands, just, my wrist is just going to go like this. Like he's trying to twist the ball and you just progress from there into like bowling against the wall in your back garden. So you do that and just whenever you've got spare time. Loads of you guys are so clever here at school that you take half an hour to your homework and you have the rest of the evening free. So just stand there in front of the wall and just throw a tennis ball. Just practice with the wrists and that's how you become better. And the more pulling the wrist obviously the more bites and turn you're gonna get and obviously the more uh, pace off the ball you're gonna get. Where a lot of you come and just slide your fingers off slowly, that's pretty much, you're not gonna get as much turn and as much pace off. So the more rip you can get through the ball, the less pace you're gonna have on it and the more variation will be at the other end for the batsman. 